In water metering, dynamic range is sometimes mistaken for accuracy. But do the terms correlate? Imagine two water meters. Both are type approved up to 3,125 liters per hour, but they differ in dynamic range, 800 versus 250. Now, picture a volume of water ranging from a few drops to heavy flow. Both meters are approved for their ability to measure within this range. Initially, they look the same, but what is the actual difference? Looking really close, you can see that even though the difference sounds big, the meters are actually tested in almost the same points. From a practical perspective, this doesn't actually say anything about accuracy. So if accuracy is important to you, focus at the ranges where a typical household consumes the most water. And when choosing your next water meters, consider consumer profiles and link them to the actual performance of the water meter. For example, if a meter measures within a 2% error margin in an area that only accounts for 1.5% of a yearly consumption of 100 cubic meters, unaccounted for water amounts to 30 liters. If the same error margin applies to the main consumption area accounting for 63%, it translates to 1,260 liters. In other words, having the highest possible dynamic range is not the key. Having the highest possible accuracy in the main consumption area is.